Okay, this has gotten out of hand very quickly. <laughs> hey, I'm Matt with Schematical, and this is Chaos Craft. This week, we did Hide and Seek, which is kind of fun. We're op imitating OpenAI's Hide and Seek program. They trained hiders and seekers to do various tasks and move blocks around. We thought, why not try it with Minecraft? So we started it, it's gonna be a multi-part series. I'll get into that later. Another thing we have this week's showcase is Cold Embrace of Death. Um, he's from India, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm actually wearing a shirt that I bought in uh, Goa when I was there, which is kind of fun. And uh, yeah, we'll go through his showcase of building stuff. Additionally, there have been some changes on ChaosNet. I'm gonna keep them very short, uh, but just some changes on how the signup works for now, because we've got some interesting things on the horizon. So that's pretty much most of what I got to talk about today. I might throw in a little treat at the end. We'll see. So this week's showcase is Cold Embrace of Death. Cold Embrace has been doing a novelty building project, breaking all this down into matrixes. Honestly, sometimes it's over my head. I kind of wish Cold Embrace had their own channel. Uh, you've got some really cool stuff you're working on. This is a little bit of an older clip. You can see the Batman costume but basically training them to build stuff. He's been the most focused on building. Another fun fact is that Cold Embrace is one of the only ones to really fork the project and do add their own code to it for the evaluation of the fitness functions. To be clear, a couple of people have forked the project, but this is the first time that completely custom fitness functions have been added. If you'd like to fork the project to add your own code to it, check out the link in the show notes for the code on GitHub. It's pretty exciting stuff. Oh, look at that one. What's he building? He's building outside the pen. Hmm. Oh! I... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there goes another one. Wow. Well, they're building, that's for sure. What they're building, we may never know. So I just got a summary from Cold Embrace. I'm like literally messaging him as I'm editing this. I'm gonna read it off to you guys. Basically, we represent what the bots are to build as matrices stacked on top of each other. Since a matrix only represents 2D, we need one block per height of what we want to build. This is why I don't read from a script because I sound like a stupid robot. Not even a smart one. He didn't write that, I'm just improvising. So basically we compare what the org has placed, convert those into a matrix representation and compare that with the matrix we want them to build. If the difference is zero, then they get a 1000 points. If it's partially there, they get 750 points. They also get points for lowering the distance between the matrices. It makes sense, but it's tough to say. <laughs> so you might wonder what you're looking at right now. This is the start of our implementation for hide and seek. So right now you've got a whole bunch of hiders and a whole bunch of seekers. And the green line indicates the field of view that the seeker has. And the red lines indicate that it sees something. These guys clearly don't see anything. And these guys can see that Mario. Now, you might notice the green Bob shooting out of these guys and the red fire shooting out of these guys. If you guys remember a while ago, I did that to indicate if they're scoring positively or negatively. So they're both, these guys are both shooting green right now because no one can see them. These guys, well, I don't have a penalty on them for not seeing things. These guys are shooting green because they're scoring. And this guy's shooting fire because he is currently, well, was being seen. For the longest time and still currently, the hiders dominate because all they have to do is walk off in any distance basically in any direction and they pretty much are set so there's a problem right now because we're still using a random spawn and what happens is that the hiders just kill it so much that they end up living longer and then the seekers actually all the seekers that are supposed to spawn in spawn in and eventually die out and the hiders still are just dominating by hiding back in this little corner here well not that guy He's in trouble. Oh, he lucked out. Timed out the other guy. But more Seekers are coming after him, actually. That's kind of cool. I don't think they quite know what they're doing, but... It... Oh, he's made it in the corner. 
Not but that guy sees him. No, wait, who's he see? So I need to rewrite the way these guys spawn in, and I think I have a solution for it. But we probably got a little bit sidetracked because some big stuff is in the works, and I really want to work on that. It is still Chaos Craft related, it's just not hide and seek related. Because uh, we've made some pretty cool friends in high places with high subscriber counts. And so I am willing to change our trajectory to work with them. But for now, this is our hide and seek implementation. So open AI, we're coming for you. Elon, please don't crush us. Right now, they're not doing great. Your hiders and seekers, the open AI hider seekers, are still doing way better. I also want to make the hide and seek probably a four part series at minimum, because there's so much we can do with it. This is the first episode in it. We'll probably be a little while before we pick it back up if what I think is about to happen happens. So, potentially fun, exciting news on the horizon. Another thing I should note is that they still have target slots, but we took out the action target slots for now, and we're using raw navigation like we were before we did the action buffer stuff. The reason for this being is that we were trying to simulate OpenAI's hider seeker simulation, and we wanted to use controls similar to what they were using, though we may switch back to the action buffer stuff in a little bit. So I did some cost cutting, and it looks like we're actually going to be lower this month if we're on our current trajectory right now than we were last month. And the Patreon's still not quite covering the bills, but at least we're not hemorrhaging money as much with the growth we've got. Recently, we've had some interesting people hop on our Discord that could possibly send us an insane amount of traffic. And so, just to be on the safe side, so the whole system doesn't go crashing down, I've had to implement a sign-up key system. So that means that I'll be issuing sign-up keys when I feel we can handle more traffic. So if you think you're interested in signing up and training neural nets, creating your own training rooms, creating your own simulations and all that stuff, click there and you can get on a list where we'll issue you a key as soon as we think we can handle the traffic. With that said, patrons will be getting access to those keys faster. And so if you're an iron golem or a wither, and we've got four remaining withers and five or seven remaining iron golems, you can get access to keys sooner. So please feel free to hop on and support us that way. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, just sign up for the mailing list and we'll get you a key as soon as we can. Man, it's been a while since I've looked at this. Uh, 163 of 500 for breaking bread. You're not quite there to super fuel yet, but we'll get there someday. And as always, a special thanks to all my patrons. You guys rock. And uh, I know I really didn't do a lot last week when I hit the thousand mark, so I'm gonna do a little something right now. I'll give you guys a little home tour of my office here. So this is my desk where I do all my editing and all that with the Windows laptop. There's the microphone that I use for the streaming you guys always see me using. It's a standing desk sometimes. Right now, actually, it is a standing desk. Over there, that's my Ubuntu laptop, my schematical water bottle, and a pair of cheapo sunglasses. Also my MacBook Pro, which I use for the infographs on occasion, and a lot of other stuff. Over there's our home gym. We got rings so I can do some ring work, and a little grip strength trainer up there in the corner, and some weights. Here's my mini fridge. My mini fridge well stocked with stuff that Ernie wants to eat whenever I open it. If I open it right now, I'd probably come running down here. Map of Wisconsin, my success poster that I totally ripped off of somebody else, but I like it and uh, keeps me motivated. And here's a little spinny wheel. I used to have my junior devs spin when they got stuck on stuff to help them kind of figure out a way out of it. So double check the config, post on Stack Overflow, add more logging, phone a friend, hit it from the bastion, turn it on, turn it back off again, read the manual, check the logs, all that stuff. So those of you guys learning how to program, it's an iterative process. Don't be afraid to try new things. Sometimes you just gotta spin the wheel. Over here, we've got all the watercolors that I got. It's the Dalai Lama there, Nelson Mandela, not a great Teddy Roosevelt. I'd say a pretty decent Bruce Lee here. Got the Joker, Groot, pretty weird looking Brad Pitt, but a decent Edward Norton, I'd say. And all this looks right out into our backyard. 
We've got my grill, the children's playhouse, which is weird because we don't have any kids that live here. Should probably burn that, and our fire pit, which hopefully tonight we will have another fire at. So that is my home office right here. So I just moved around a little bit today to get better view. Oh yeah, and here's my chair, which sheds profusely. So if anybody uh, out there is a chair manufacturer that uh, wants to send me one that doesn't shed and actually stays up higher so I'm not ergonomically destroying myself, I would be uh, eternally grateful. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much my uh, pretty much my office setup. Let me know what you guys think. So that's our show for today. It's Chaos Craft. Uh, a lot more interesting stuff coming up soon. I'll be streaming a ton. Check me out on Twitch. Um, let me know what you guys think about the show format. I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit. Do you guys want to see more of the funny highlights? Do you guys want me to spend more time explaining the sciencey stuff? You guys want to see more things like a little tour of my desk area and you know things about my life uh i'm interested to see uh, what you guys think uh, definitely let me know in the show in the comments there with that said a special thanks as always to our patreons feel free to like share and subscribe this as much as you like uh things are really starting to get interesting so i'm having fun sharpness on my sword all right fine i'll get the sharpness on the sword i'm only doing this because I want to finish this generation out soon, and it's, there's no seekers left in this generation because we haven't programmed them to stagger it properly. Can I can put sharpness on this block. Whoa, what's that? Wow. Now it's all glowy and distracting. Do I see how many hits it takes to kill this guy? I mean, of course the answer is yes. Wow, he just exploded. Sneak it up on him. He can't see me. Ah, he's got me. <laughs> oh, no witnesses. Okay, this is just childish at this point. <laughs> uh.